Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. With daytime temperatures struggling to get above freezing and nighttime temperatures nearing single digits, many people may be facing dangerous situations. That being said, officials at the West Care Emergency Shelter in Pikeville are opening their doors for anyone needing to warm up. Because the, the cold weather's coming, we decided to open up a warming station. Of course, that's for people who heat may have tore up, your, your water may be froze off. You, know, you can always come here and shower, eat. Um, get some hygiene products, and stay the night if you need to. Coleman says they're trying to get the word out to as many people as possible because of the misconception that only those without a place to stay are welcome. It's not just because you're homeless. It may be that your heat don't work tonight and you have children in your home or your water froze off today and you need to take a shower to go to work today. You know, if that's the case, it doesn't have to be 7 to 7. Just come in and tell us, you know, my water froze off, I need to go to work, or I need a bite to eat. I'm, you know, my propane's not working or I've ran out. Right now, the shelter is more than halfway full, but arrangements have already been made to accommodate as many people as necessary. And you know, our maximum capacity is 30, and the city police had called over and said if we got above 30, just to let them know and they would open something up. So, you know, our community partners are so amazing in making this possible for us. Coleman says the West Care Emergency Shelter will operate as a warming center this winter any time the temperature dips below 32 degrees. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.